WhatsApp YouTubers, in front of you you have the 49 inch, the super ultra wide curved monitor from Samsung. Well, this monitor is big as 124 centimeters. It's curved. This monitor and the next generation of ultra wide, super ultra wide monitors will copy our human view. You know, it's wide. The human view is very wide. We started with the 4.3 monitors, then with 60 by 9, 21.9, and now it's 32.9. And I bought this monitor for video editing, not for gaming. It will be a different kind of review. We will compare to a 29 2 x 29 monitors this monitor uses 144 hertz it's very rapid it has a timer response of 5 milliseconds you can connect the samsung dex with a usb-c and you can use it as a computer you will not need a pc unit if you can handle the android from your devices you can connect a keyboard a mouse and a phone and you have a pc you got to have a big desk to use it. It has a resolution of 3840 by 1080. So it's a 4K, right? Wrong. Stick around, guys. Get yourself a big cup of coffee. We're gonna talk everything there is about this monitor. I think it's a newer model than the QLED. I saw one single review on the YouTube, and this review will be interesting because uh, this is for video editing only so your video editors who want to purchase this monitor for you stick around and you'll see if it works it if it's practical for video editing so don't give yourself uh, the money yet because i bought it and we will test everything there is on this monitor you'll see a lot of interesting stuff this monitor is bright we're not gonna to talk about the specification it has the magic bright samsung the five milliseconds and what i saw and track my attention is that it's a little bit calibrated from factory well our monitors are calibrated with spider x now it's the second uh, display calibrator that we reviewed i don't think the video is set we will uh, we will insert it to our channel but for now guys let's cut to the chase and let's make an unboxing for this monitor i want to review it to you we have a box that is also sealed let's see what's inside metal plate usb-c cables power cable hdmi cable and usb-c to usb-c cable the energy efficiency is b class it consumes only 62 watts for this size i don't think it's a large consumption and the mounting stand is quite heavy it remained in my uh, mind the image that this was chrome but it's nice it's looking uh, discreet let's say and now guys i don't know how so get this out well it's looking so good and it's so round it's so big can you believe playing a game to a 39 inch screen so this is a bracket wall it's for mounting on the wall it's a vesa 40 by 40 millimeters you can insert here tighten up the screws and you can mount it on the wall and if you can see in the back we have a support for the headphones you can hang up your headphones in this uh, bracket that is also detachable in the back side we have four screws we'll screw in there and uh, that is it here it has a panel for the connectors and the connectors are in this side so on the connectivity we have a hdmi in a display port we have two usb ports a pc in usb c two usb 2.0 and the usb 3.0 and don't forget guys when you put the monitor on the support to tighten up these two screws right below well i'm going to change the left monitor and the top side this one is an LCD, it's old enough and this one it's a LED but it's not as new as this one and I don't have color accuracy at the video editing. I got to observe the great quality of the picture. It's, it's awesome and you know Samsung displays are the best and uh, I'm seeing I like what I see. Well, this is the big deal. When you watch a movie here, you can even watch content movies like you were in the cinema and it really engages the peripheral vision left and right the support must be heavy because you can adjust the monitor to the high 
or the tilt if you want and the panning left and right and uh, it got to support because this monitor is quite heavy do not mistake also you can adjust it to your needs if you want uh, for example if you are in the back you can see it like this it has a lot of adjustments well there will not be much space for the keyboard here in the front at the side guys it has a nice samsung logo over here but if you see it's quite too big um, you have a VESA mount system you can mount it in your wall and we remove this big support but this support also has the function of up and down left and right panning tilting everything there is you can move in every way the it has even 360 degrees this monitor it's a good thinking system but you have you got to have a large desk I can split this monitor in two pieces and in video editing this is what you need two pieces I thought and uh, if I'm not mistaken for example I have the Vega 17 and uh, if I'm working I want the same display to be as accurate as it can and being the same display you won't have different colors from other monitors I'll try to put it here let's see if i will succeed but i think until i will use two monitors from one if you see i stretch it but it's not good you cannot work with this uh, in this kind of way in countering this problem i can select here in the source now the display port in one side and the, the other side i can select the hdmi and now i have two monitors guys seeing this slide it's very very bright the colors are awesome even in full hd i can work good but it's not worth it only for video editing if you are doing gaming yes and you have to you got to have a big table a big uh, desk i like that it's it doesn't have a bezel a big bezel here if you are putting two monitors you will have problems here in this way i can see all the tracks where there is very clear very good and the roundness the curves of this monitor is not helping me at video editing i'm repeating myself to make a clear point what is interesting is that this color and this color if you are for example if you are working in the light room will be as accurate as they can be talking about for gamers for gaming uh, it has 144 hertz but it also has uh, the five uh, milliseconds there are models from also from samsung which have one millisecond uh, and that is the response time you gamers need man the image is great and the purpose of this monitor is without any bezel to to view your content without any bezel in the middle and the next purpose is to use your peripheral vision your viewing peripheral viewing i cannot say convo gaming except the five milliseconds but it has also for oh, 144 hertz so this one is best if you see at the image quality i went with the 4k let's say 4k the entire resolution for this screen and uh, the details are at ultra high i play once in a while if you are trying to buy yourself two monitors for gaming no you need one monitor for gaming this is the easy decision for you for we video editors well this is the hard decision the problem to this gigantic monitor is that on some websites is advertised as a 4k screen but it's not samsung tell us that this 49 inch premium curved monitor with 32.9 super ultra wide screen if we will go to the specification we will see that the spec ratio is 3840.10 80 like i said in the beginning of this review 3840 divided by 2 equals 1920 by the 1080p so this monitor guys this is the catch which in my opinion it doesn't worth it are two displays two full hd displays so to prove a point guys i brought to you a full hd monitor so in this side you can put a full hd and in the other side a full hd is the same 
they exactly the same point the same resolution it's not a 4k resolution are two full hd resolutions united of course without bezel in the middle so what's the point buying a full hd monitor when at the end of 2019 we got to have 4k's screens this is a problem that i didn't saw until i review and work with this monitor and saw these problems the purpose of a monitor is to work close to it right okay so if you are getting close i don't know if you can see this but you can see the pixels so why some uh, advertise this as 4k it's not a 4k it's a large full hd wide super wide screen monitor not a 4k if you want a uh, close to a 4k buy 1440 and these guys it's a full hd plus 5120 divided by 2 is 2560 i don't know it's very expensive in my point of view it doesn't mean i am right with it and uh, yes of course it doesn't have hdr this monitor and uh, it's not an led uh, this one who i'm uh, i mean the samsung website it has qhd dual qhd uh, hdr it's not ultra hd neither that full hd somewhere in the middle now guys let's mount the ultra wide 29 inch and let's see them and this is the setup with two monitors of 29 inch super wide both of them are color calibrated and of course we have a bezel in the middle in the left and in the right are the same resolution of 2000 500 so not only we have for video production a wide screen and you can work and view your timeline better because it's very wide you can work uh, large projects so this setup guys is wider than the super ultra wide samsung monitor and uh, i got to say guys you can view uh, images here you can i can also work with uh, being ultra wide of both monitors i can work with um, uh, the anamorphic videos and uh, talking about this let me put uh, some anamorphic to prove my point here is the super ultra wide filming or i can work with 4k dci dci it's wider than the regular 3820 so the dci it's a little bit wider it's 4096 by 2160 and uh, the regular is 3840 by 2160 it's also 4k and on these monitors guys believe me it's a better quality than samsung monitor because now we'll have a resolution at the, each monitor i have a resolution 2560 by uh, 1080 so we have more pixels and uh, if i approach a monitor i cannot sense the pixels this is one I'm, i was interested it's too bad that these monitors aren't 4k i wouldn't buy 4k monitors if this were produced but i'm satisfied with the full hd plus i'm satisfied because our, our led our I think are, are a little bit better than that Samsung because that is a LCD. What beats uh, this monitor, this LG IPS LED, beats the QLED from Samsung. Samsung has better displays, but I don't think Samsung made a ultra wide um, 29 inch or 34 inch monitors. So for example, in Lightroom, everything looks good. I have a preview on the second monitor. Uh, for example, if uh, you have three monitors here, you got to put over and under because if you put like, uh, I have this configuration here, it will not work. It will send on the and uh, will give the image in the top side. So this is uh, a con for the Lightroom. You cannot choose the display. I want to choose the same display on the left and now this is the way to work with the Lightroom, uh, the color accuracy is very precise uh, with this monitor I can work well so it's another pro thing for two monitors side by side now I try to make the surround uh, not a good surround because I have a big bezel here but uh, this is not the point the point is you can make um, a decent surround with three monitors you can use the front monitor for displaying the car for example if you are playing racing and uh, for the peripheral vision 
or viewing um, you can use two monitors on the left and on the right and that is a big surround peripheral viewing or uh, ultra super ultra wide monitors but you will still have bezels so guys for video editing i'm talking what setup is best with two 29 inch super wide monitors or the super ultra wide samsung 49 inch please leave your comments in the box and you gamers what do you prefer free monitors of 29 inch making the surround sound or the 49 inch from samsung thumbs up for this video if you think it was interesting yet if it helped you and the subscribe that button put the notification bells because we have a lot of videos thank you for watching guys see you subscribe that button have a great day see you guys bye